G'day, welcome to another episode of Country Life on the Coast. In today's episode, we're going to compare using a spirit level to level a post to a post level. So I've dug a hole, I have my 100mm round post that I've been using for all my fencing, and I've also got a square 100 by 100mm post as well. And we'll just do each one using both the spirit level and the post level, and just compare the two, talk about the pros and cons of each. Previously when I put posts in before doing this fencing project, all I'd ever used was a spirit level. And it does work, and there are benefits for using that. But for my fencing project, I went out and bought a post level. And I've found this to work so much better, just so much easier. So I'll stick the round post into the ground first, and then we'll talk about this. Okay, so we have the post in the ground, and typically what I've done before is you would just hold it you just use the spirit level, hold it up there, make sure the bubble gets in the right spot. One way, do it the other side. And then put on the braces each one. So you sort of need to be able to hold onto this, get it level, looking through it, and then put a screw in onto your brace and hold it there. And then do the same here. And for some posts, I'm sure that's pretty easy. When you start using 100 mil or 150 mil round posts, or square posts too, I find it very difficult to actually hold your level in the right spot. You know, it's not really a one-handed operation, but you sort of need to be able to hold that level and screw a screw in while keeping it spot on. It's a little bit more challenging. I said, I'm sure there's professionals out there that use this all the time and know the other tricks but for the home handyman sort of person like myself I said it works it's just a little bit more challenging now when I bought my post level it came with a rubber band and it has these little hooks on it that you just then sit on wrap it round and hook on now the rubber band lasted a short period of time and then it broke. Just got a piece of elastic that so far seems to be lasting quite well. Just a couple of knots in either end and that way I can loop it around the post. Just slide it over that tag and then it just sits on the post. But as you can see now, it just sits on there. You need to make sure that it's sitting properly on your post and not you know, one side out or something, it should center itself. Um, and I think there's only once I found that it wasn't actually sitting in the right spot. So now, once I do that up, I just do a quick push in, make sure that it's sitting right. And then, when you've got your braces ready, it's really easy because there's two sight glasses on it. And so I can just line one up, screw it in, line the other, screw it in and then I know it's level and it just takes out that element like I was showing you with the spirit level of trying to hold everything um, so much easier the other thing I like about it is that the bubble so the side that the bubble on is actually sort of pointing to which way the post needs to move so the bubbles on this side of that so I just move the post this way and the bubble moves to center so that's the easy way of telling which way to move the post so if you need to think about and go oh which way do I need to go so the bubbles over that side so it's telling me to move the post that way until we get it center the first couple of posts I did using this I actually grabbed my spirit level afterwards just to do a double check to make sure and then actually stood back as well and just had a look and go, yep, that looks about right. And after the first few, I found that this was just as accurate as using my spirit level, so I use that every single time now. And don't even touch the, the spirit level. And really, that's how simple it is. Now, I'll swap this post over and we'll put a square post on and just have a look at the same principle as that. This is my 100mm by 100mm hardwood post. And so, 
going to level that one up. It's the same principle as before. Put the spirit level on one side, brace it, screw that on, and then put it on this side and brace it. And again, the spirit level works, but you need to have quite a large hand, I think, to hold it and support it so that it's not going to move out of, out of level when you go to attach the braces. Whereas when we put the post level on here, so as I said, the elastic holds it really well. It's firm on the corner. And so I can just level it up with the two sight glasses, attach each brace, and it's so much easier to just look at that. Now, the other thing you need to consider is that just to make sure that your posts aren't bowed, shouldn't really be using bowed posts anywhere really because they'll, they'll look bad. And then it's a lot harder obviously to get that level or make it look somewhat level. If you do have to use one of those, uh, probably the spirit level is a better way to go, but then you're also gonna have to step back and just eyeball it and go, what's the best way? Because if you've got a bit of a curve in it, that's not really what you want. The other thing that the post level has is has little magnets on here. So if you're using any metal posts, so if you're using, you know, color bond fencing, uh, something like that then these will work for that as well and that will just attach to the post you don't need to use a piece of elastic or anything the magnet will hold it there so overall for a product that only costs about 10 or 15 dollars or probably less awesome investment if you're going to be installing any number of posts highly recommend buy one of these and you'll never look back and that's all there is to it so that's all we've got in this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button and we'll catch you next time. God bless.